Thanks for clicking on my video. Before we get started, please click the subscribe button so that you can get more great content such as this one. Thanks. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tony Coleman, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the new visible midnight phone. As you can see in the box, they give the typical address label to send the old phone back because I'm doing the swap deal. You also get the uh, SIM card for activating service, but with the visible midnight phone, they send you a fast wireless charger along with it, which is kind of nice to, to have from a, a budget brand phone. So first I'll open that. Packaging is a bit stiff, but this is the, uh, the pad itself. And inside here is your charging cable, along with the AC adapter. And then they also have a nimble bag. For shipping. And that's basically you supposed to put it in there to recycle your old phone or what have you. But that's not really of use to us here today. So the box is better than some of the others I've had. thing holding it in is basically one piece of tape hold out and then this first piece is basically just the typical instructions that comes with the phone telling you how to insert the sim and the micro SD card, how to charge or use wireless charging, which should be pretty straightforward for most people. Um, it's not rocket science, so if you can't figure it out, you know, feel free to ask, but most people are going to look at you a little crazy. So, warranty booklet as well. Hoping you won't ever have to use the warranty. And then the phone itself. Says visible on the back. This just slides out. It's like it's just a sleeve. There's actually nothing else in the, the uh, box. It has a nice feel to it. It's definitely a, even though it's a rounded edge, it's still got kind of a squared feel to it. It does not feel like a cheapo from like ZTE or Alcatel. Um, you do have your microphone, or actually not microphone, but your uh, headphones jack on the top, your charger plug on bottom, SIM card slot on the side, your power and volume on the other side. You got a 13 megapixel camera on it. Looks pretty basic just looking at it, but it does feel like it's got a good build quality. We'll see if they have much of a charge in it. This phone is specifically made for visible, as you can see from the firmware. Oh, that's booting up. Too bad of a design. Definitely is a good size of a phone. It's about the length of my entire hand. Much larger than my Pixel 4a. 
by about, I'd say it's about a half inch bigger than my Pixel 4a. About the same weight. Does seem to take a little while to come on though. Alright, so now it's ready for setup. I am not going to put in a SIM card in this video. I think most people already know how to activate the uh, visible setup already or how to put SIM cards in. But just hit start, connect to a mobile network. It's not going to because I don't have a SIM card, so skip. Looking for Wi Fi connections. We'll put one in. All right, so it's connecting, obtaining, getting the phone ready. depending on your network connectivity and how long it's been since they've updated from factory. It could take a few minutes to check for updates. Normally it's not too bad when it does this, but again, you won't know until you start the process. So I will pause the video until it's ready. All right, so now it's ready to copy apps and data. Since I'm not transferring a phone over, I don't need to do this, so don't copy. That's checking info. Here's where you need to sign in with your Google account, so let me get that going and I will pause the video. Alright, signed in, hit agree. Getting account info. Checking Google services, asking us to read all that and accept what we want. Let's accept everything. I don't want to set up a screen lock at this time, so I'm skipping. I don't want to mess with Google Assistant. Skip. I don't need anything else. So now it should be getting ready to go straight into the phone itself for the first time run. So looking at it, it's already got the Google services all geared together with the calculator app as well, which is kind of nice to have them all grouped together, but at the same time, it all just depends. So if you're used to visible phones, you'll know that most of them come pretty vanilla, meaning they don't have a lot of bloatware on them already. Um, I'm surprised they still aren't putting the visible app on the phones that they're shipping because if they ha can have a customized firmware like this there's absolutely no reason why they couldn't put the visible application on there you would have to use the visible app in order to activate the phone so it only makes sense if they did so getting in here just type in visible phone service because I'm gonna have to activate my sim anyway I won't do it right now. Um, again, I just wanted to show you what the phone was like straight out of the box. There's not a whole lot of wow factor. The packaging isn't anything special. Um, there's not a whole lot of extra accessories other than the wireless charging. Um, basically, this is it. This is the bottom of it. That's the top. You just set it on the table. And then plug it in let me go ahead and get the, the 
this uh, done. It looks like they put a little too much effort into securing the cable. But at least they're putting effort. Alright. And cute little elephant icon on the charging. Alright, so basically you just place it right in there. this so you can see a little better and then let's see there it goes and now it's charging so as you can see that's all you got to do to charge it or if you don't want to use the wireless you don't have to the cable that comes with it is the same cable you plug into the phone. And again, it will charge faster using the cable um, if that matters to you. So the wireless charging is usually for convenience because you don't have to keep unplugging and plugging the wire the, the cable in. Uh, that helps protect the charging connection inside of it um, from wearing out. And it's a little bit quicker once you're in the hang of actually putting it on the charging pad properly. So that's about all you get uh, from a uh, clean opening of the box. Um, the phone seems to be decent responsiveness. Um, I've heard some people thinking that the uh, Motorola was very laggy. I have not opened one of those yet I will be doing another video for opening the new Motorola they have on the swap deal um, but this one does not seem to be extra laggy at the moment so unless there's an update that kills that it should be a pretty decent phone for someone um, definitely worth the swap deal uh, the swap deal uh, you just, is basically Visible's way of getting people onto their network. You can uh, port your phone number over and trade in your old phone that's not compatible with their network. Uh, as long as it basically turns on, they'll pretty well accept it. And you just uh, send that back in with the return address labeling they put in the box and uh, do that within 14 days and you basically get a free swap of the phone. Now, they do take older phones as long as they, t they power on. It doesn't have to be a top of the line uh, device. However, it does need to be paid off. So if you owe money on your phone, um, it's a no-go. Or if the IMEI has been locked due to being a s reported stolen or something like that, you definitely um, are gonna be out of luck with those too. So, I've done the swap deal multiple times. I've had only a few issues. Every once in a while, they'll lose your phone uh, after it's been delivered, and then they expect you to um, be able to provide them with the IMEI, the serial number, model number, all that. So you'll definitely want to write that down in advance if you're doing the swap deals, um, just to have on hand in case they do lose it. And then if they do, usually by providing all that information, they're pretty good with working with you. I have had a case where they lost it at their facility, but they hadn't scanned it into their system yet. So even though it did arrive and was reported by um, UPS as being delivered, they still tried to make me file a police report. and. That didn't go over well because they have each phone insured for up to $100 anyway. So since they lost it, it's their responsibility to make the claim and not you having to go to the police department to report a lost or stolen phone. So I had to fight them on that. They didn't like it too well and gave me a little pushback. But eventually in the end, they, they took care of it. So um, definitely keep records of what you send. Uh, and when you sent them and then that way it kind of protects you a little bit in the whole process of things but for the most part the majority of the phones I've swapped um, using their deal 
uh, either for myself or for helping others do the swap deal. I've had very little issue. Um, I will say I've had more issues with doing the bring your own device where you get the free gift card. Um, the company that does the gift cards for them is called Blackhawk and they're actually really terrible uh, to deal with. Uh, sometimes you'll get your gift card, sometimes not, and trying to open up tickets from their website um, doesn't always get a response. Calling them doesn't always get a good response. Um, I've, I've had to deal with them in the past as well and they've even claimed never getting any of the info or there wasn't a deal offer or what have you even though they've sent me the emails it I mean it gets it's long and drawn out a lot of people have issues with them why visible still uses them I don't know um, so do the gift card deals at your own risk but uh, the swap deal has been pretty reliable and so far from my first uh, experience with the Midnight, I would say it's actually a decent phone. It does have 32 gigabyte of internal memory. You can add a micro SD card to give you more space. Um, the camera on paper has decent specs. Um, I haven't, like, like you've seen, this is as far as I've gotten testing it, but opening the app seems pretty quick, pretty responsive, didn't take forever to set up the phone. And uh, it does come with the wireless charging, which is rare for a cheaper phone. And uh, it wasn't too hard to get the wireless charging to work either, which I've had some issues with some higher end phones at times trying to get that working. So if you got any questions, feel free to drop those in my comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to answer some of those questions. Um, if you got any feedback you'd wanna give from your own experience, I'd love to hear what you think about it. And then uh, please share my video and subscribe if you haven't already. So that's all I got for you today. Until next time, have a great one.